Let's talk about juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, or JRA. It's similar to the adult version of rheumatoid arthritis, but it's in adolescence. So it's a chronic idiopathic arthritis that occurs in children. Chronic means it happens over and over and over and over and again. Idiopathic means that we don't understand how it happens or why it happens. There's an unknown cause. Arthritis is inflammation of the joint. That occurs in children. So because it's idiopathic, there's also, it's also called JIA, juvenile idiopathic arthritis. So there's similarities and differences from the adult RA and what's similar is it's there's a destructive nature of joints as in the rheumatoid arthritis you watch the last video on that but the destructive nature of joints happens in the juvenile form too what's different is that RF is typically absent in the case of RA remember it was 80 percent positive and 20 percent negative for RF factor and in the juvenile form JRA it's uh, typically absent and there are no rheumatoid nodules only about one-fourth one-fourth of the patients get rheumatoid nodules in the adult version well there are none in the juvenile form and another characteristic is uveitis may be present may or may not be so here is a picture of uveitis in the University of Michigan the eye center there uh, produce this picture. And so the uveitis, what uveitis is, is the inflammation of the uvea. And the uvea consists of the middle pigmented vascular structures of the eye, which includes the iris, which is this part right here. This is the iris. The ciliary body, which is underneath this white stuff right here, is called the sclera of your eye. So under there, it's like, you know, these ciliary bottles, these ciliary muscles and, you know, tendons and everything. They're underneath the sclera. And then the choroid. The choroid is a layer between the sclera and the retina, I believe. So if this was the retina and this is the sclera, it's, this is the choroid layer. So you can get uveitis in uh, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. So there's three types of JIA, or juvenile idiopathic arthritis. There's oligoarticular, or posiarticular. Oligo means few. So there's few joints involved. Poly is many, many. So there's more than just a few, but there's many joints involved. And systemic JIA is it's all over all over. So, you know, you can have knees, shoulders, ankles, hands. You know, you can have all of these different joints in your bodies and oligo is just a few of the of the joints. Poly is many of the joints and systemic is it's kind of all over. It's a bigger a bigger case. Some of the cases are associated with HLA B27 and the HLA B27 is actually really specific for these spondyloarthropathies that we'll talk about next. And so some of the features, the clinical features kind of overlap between the spondyloarthropathies and the juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. And last but not least, Stills disease is a variant of JRA. And how Stills disease is different than the juvenile rheumatoid arthritis is this acute febrile onset. So you get a fever, patient gets a fever, an acute fever, and there's usually spikes. So it goes kind of goes up and then it comes down and then it spikes and then it comes up and it spikes and then it comes down. So there's spikes in the fever. And leukocytosis, Leukocytosis means uh, more than normal white blood cells. So the leukocyte is the white blood cells. 
osis means more than. So the white blood cell counts of 15,000 to 25,000 cells per uh, microliter. That is what's considered leukocytosis. And what this leukocytosis is, is usually inflammation, and an infection. Inflammation less, but the main thing is in infection of some sort, usually parasites. But you can look up causes of leukocytosis and it will and Google or Bing or whoever your favorite search engine is will tell you what leukocytosis is. Hepatosplenomegaly. So the liver is hepato, spleno is spleen, megaly is enlargement. So you have enlarged spleen and liver. So that's kind of something too. And then you have lymph adenopathy. Lymph is re refers to lymph and adeno is gland and pathy is some kind of pathological process. So lymph adenopathy, it just means that the lymph nodes or the lymph tissue is inflamed or undergoing some kind of pathological change. So you can see lymph nodes. Here I have a picture of a of a child that has Stills disease, and you know, in these neck lymphatic change, you might be able to palpate um, some of these lymph nodes that are getting a little bit bigger than usual. And also, you see the rash, and you can see a rash here on her cheeks, and then all over her torso and stomach, and even on her arms. So this is what's called still disease. Now, stills disease is was usually thought to be only in children only in kids, but they found in an adult version of Stills disease, adult version, and so it, there's actually, you know, Stills disease thought it was, first it was a, a variant of JRA, and now they found an adult version, so Stills disease is kind of just a subset of signs and symptoms that are characterized by JRA, but remember that there's an adult version too. See you in the next video.